Welcome, Climate Viewers. This is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News. It is May 11th, 2017, and I'm just taking a quick speak, peek at the Hanford Nuclear Site, which is apparently having a bad day over here on Climate Viewer 3D. I'm going to get an underground map of that going pretty soon, but let's get to the story today. Cloud seeding drones heading to the UAE. This is a world first. Nobody's ever admitted anything like this in public. Hold on to your seatbelts. You probably have ever, never heard of cloud seeding via ionization. So we're going to get into that. Here's an article from Gulf News Environment. I'm going to skip this for now. We're just going to go to the history of it, and then we'll get right back to it. So I'm over here on climateviewer.com, and the article is from 2014, Cloud Ionization, Electric Rain Making, and Laser Guided Weather Modification. In a nutshell, what had happened was over in Abu Dhabi, they had talked about using ions instead of chemicals from planes to make rain. So what they did was they put a bunch of antennas up and they were gonna use negatively charged ions. This is the same thing as the air filter in your house. If you see the little ion button on there, now you know what I'm talking about. So what this does is instead of using chemicals from planes for water to stick to, it uses these ions to use pollution to make the water stick to. So this actually would clean the air. So I've always said, even since 2013, when I first covered this, that if there was a weather modification technique that I was semi okay with, at least this is better than dumping thousands of pounds of salt and chemicals everywhere, and it cleans the environment. Um, so what happened was these guys were down there doing it and the expert team on weather modification from the World Meteorological Organization met in Abu Dhabi in uh, March of 2010. And they said, quote, weather modification technologies that claim to achieve such large scale or dramatic effects do not have a sound, basic, sound scientific basis. In effect, hail cannons, ionization methods, and should be treated with suspicion. So basically they were knocking on all of these systems. Now this is this particular system we're gonna talk about today just briefly, Mateo Systems WeatherTech. And WeatherTech was, is this picture right here. You can see there is a series of antennas on poles. They look like little umbrellas. I know it looks weird, right? Um, and you can see them blown up here. There you go. And this is a photo from that, and this has got a U.S. patent application, 2011-017-4892. I like to get my references. So I've had this up since 2014, and I'm sure that most of you have never heard of cloud ionization. <laughs> um, but this is the one particularly from Abu Dhabi, and we're focusing on this for a reason. Read the article to see about AST Clear Sky Manager down in Australia. Um, uh, I want to say Australia but let's just skip that it, it's you can read it this is the one from Australia it's Atlant Australian rain technologies and then of course we have the acquiesce global rain project which was trying to bring um, rain to the Horn of Africa using electromagnetic weather control and steering the rivers of the sky so I covered this back in 2014 and then we really had a major scientific discovery um, with Jasper Kirkby at the CERN um, thing. So this is the CERN cloud conundrum. Um, the cloud uh, is cosmics leaving something on... Uh, I should have better prepared for that one. Cosmics leaving outdoor droplets. Um, and what it means is they were trying to figure out what exactly is making a cloud because they really haven't ever figured it out. And Jasper Kirkby said, you know, we've made a, a chamber the size of a bus. We filled it full of just pure gas and um, a organic hydrocarbon that would come from trees. So a natural cloud seed. And then they added galactic cosmic rays and clouds were just popping up everywhere. So no, no sulfuric acid necessary, galactic cosmic rays and some aerosols for stuff to stick to. The reason why this is per, um, important is because ionization is an important factor in creating clouds and therefore rain. So now that they know this, and here's the, the paper that was written for that, don't want to get too dorky, but just for you science nerds out there, um, we go forward to today. So we had a little more recently, back in 2015 May, I covered an, I put an article up called How Texas Stole California's Rain. And this is an actual scenario where I believe that cloud ionization was used to affect weather over a long-term period. 
lots of um, background information on cloud seeding maps from the 50s the 70s how quickly cloud seeding spread i gave some history i like to give history with some of my articles so this is quite lengthy and then we get to it that's a weather modification bomb from the cold cloud modification from operation popeye but down here near the bottom <laughs> you will see that you know there is this steering the rivers of the sky there is david kachinsky who got a a pat uh, and uh he applied to mo modify the weather in texas they said yeah he started steering the rivers of the sky to texas aqueous steering atmospheric rivers so what does this all have to do with each other so this is this is some pretty groundbreaking weather modification news i've been saving this since april 24th i've been trying to get around to talking about this because it's very very important that everybody understands this this is the united arab emirates rainfall enhancement program now this thing has really blossomed since the abu dhabi stuff and the the cloud ionization mockery what has happened now and this is the original article where um the other you know news is going to come from but this is their actual press release which is where i like to get my i don't like to read what somebody wrote about it here it is and basically what you get is there's there's two guys who pre pretty much won a contest um you can come over to their page right here under videos click on this one right here uae rep program of course all of this is going to be written in an article on climateviewer.com shortly so all these references will be available um and you watch this video and basically they go through how you know the global government <laughs> structure of this and all of the organizations around the world who are involved and of course you know secrecy is important program confidentiality review documents reviewers identities review process everything you, you submit your weather modification idea to us and we will you will have a chance at a five million dollar prize and what's even better is all the government scientists of the world that are going to be on this board who are going to review it they won't even tell a soul about your whole process or any of your technology or anything review process secret um which doesn't give me a lot of um you know <laughs> confidence in this but regardless it seems that now after a three-year process they've come to you know the end of the cycle because as you can see here on their little timer on their front page five days three hours three minutes to full proposal start apply now so you can still put your stuff in even though i think they're declared the winners these three winners um i don't know what the other two winners are but i know that this uh this ionization one they're talking about here is from uh professor giles harrison um who is from the he's an atm atmospheric physics at university of reading and carrie nickel a nrc nerc independent research fellow had to look these people up never heard of them here's dr carrie nickel there's her phone number it's on here somewhere <laughs> oh it's on this page so there's her phone number and email address same with uh dr giles harrison right here there's him here's his email oh there's his phone number so maybe you guys can call him and ask him about this but what i'm learning right now as we speak is that there's a lot of people involved in this this is the third cycle program program was launched at the beginning of 2015 with the aims of addressing water security issues and placing the uae at the international forefront of scientific research and innovation into the rain enhancement the program offers a grant of five million u.s dollars over a three-year period to be shared by up to five winning research proposals 201 proposals from around the world and if you look down here at the bottom key educational institutes bunch of universities key government research institutes NASA, I can't make that one out. NOAA, you know, the U UN, Desert Research Institute, CERN, NCAR. I mean, if these names aren't familiar to you, you haven't been following me long enough. I hope that you guys will come over to climateviewer.com and uh, subscribe to the mailing list over there. But regardless, um, I had to look these guys up and I, I went to the, you know, Google Scholar and looked up, and they basically cover. You know the 
ionization processes of space weather and how it affects local tropospheric weather. So these are guys who study, you know, the electric universe, as we like to call it online. So basically, we have come to a point finally where the electric universe is really meeting the weather modification industry, and they're starting to get it so much so that I have found this patent as a, as, um, due to a friend of mine, Max Bliss. Thank you very much. Shout out to Max Bliss at the Real Institute for finding this for me. Um, system and methods of inducing rainfall patent application 2016 one six oh sixteen five eight one three and what you'll see is donald wilkins gave a patent to the boeing company everybody knows boeing makes drones that's what they're talking about using here drones and what do you have the system wherein said precipitation system comprises an ion generator coupled to an aircraft and wherein the ion generator is configured to electrically charge particulate matter from the ambient environment such that particulate matter fuses together forming the particle particle being a cloud condensation nuclei something for water to stick to and a refrigeration system coupled to said aircraft wherein the said refrigeration system is configured to cool the partic particle to a second temperature lower than the first temperature such that moisture in the air condenses on the particle same thing jet engines do all damn day, day long only difference is this refrigeration system comprises a liquid cryogen generator. So liquid cryogen generator with an ion generator on a drone and they emit it in public. <laughs> I think we have come a long way since I mentioned cloud ionization for the first time back in 2012 and I really still have never heard anybody talk about any of this cloud ionization technology but I guess now you're gonna have to because it is gonna be front page news um, please spread this video around let everybody know about the shocking electric cloud seeding going on in the United Arab Emirates coming to a desert near you and affecting rainfall worldwide of course this is a government um, worldwide kind of thing you look at their fact sheet here this is the last thing I'm gonna leave with you come through their fact sheet down here 316 colleges 710 researchers 68 countries involved everybody's involved in modifying the weather top 15 countries of course the USA with 36 UAE with 17 India, Russia, South Africa, China, Nigeria, Canada, UK, Germany. In that order. So there's where it's popular to modify the weather. And you can see here in cycle two, they had 45 countries submit their applications to modify the weather in this contest. And then in cycle three, they got up to 68. So it's a big party. It's a big competition. Who can prove that they can modify the weather? And apparently the idea is to do it with electrical cloud seeding. So that being said, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. Please share this video, climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com.